Okay, uh, this evening I have the honor of uh, sitting with uh, Tim LaBeouf, who's running for Ripman City Council this evening. And he's going to answer a few questions um, for us. So, go ahead, Tim. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, sure. I uh, grew up in uh, Watertown, New York, uh, which is uh, just about 20 miles from the Canadian border in upstate New York. Uh, if you're familiar with where Syracuse is, yes. it's just about an hour north of Syracuse. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I grew up there and uh, graduated from high school in 1992, uh, went to college in Springfield, Missouri, and then after graduating in 1996, uh, went out and lived out in California, out on the West Coast for a while, and uh, it was in 2001 uh, when I learned that my dad uh, was diagnosed with cancer, and it was, and it was, ter it was diagnosed as terminal cancer. So, uh, after talking with my family and, and, and others, um, you know, we made the determination that we wanted to be back in New York. My dad was one of those kind of guys, you know, he did everything for my mom. Uh, my younger sisters were just young teenagers at the time. Uh, one of my grandmothers was still living. And so my dad had always been in that role of fixing things and doing things and helping them. And uh, I just really felt impressed upon uh, to be there for them during that time. So I had been gone from my hometown for about 10 years. And when I came back, <laughs> I hardly recognized the place. Uh, drugs had infiltrated the community. Uh, it was no longer a safe community. The downtown had basically become a ghost town and um, businesses were leaving. It was a very depressed place. And so I remember saying to my dad, you know, this place is not the same. And uh, I was complaining about it. And one of the last things my dad ever said to me, he said, well, you can complain about it or you can do something about it. And that put the seed in my mind and in my heart to get involved. Uh, I had never really been involved in politics or anything like that before, but his words inspired me to get involved. Uh, so with the help of friends and family, uh, we worked hard. And uh, there were four people running for three seats, uh, just like this race here in Rittman. <laughs> and uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to be the number one vote getter. And uh, again, it was because my dad inspired me to get involved and make a difference in a place that I loved. Very nice. And how long did you serve on the board up there? I served four years uh, on the council there. Uh, and uh, prior to serving on the council, I think one thing that helped me uh, that I think will also help me here in Ripman, should I be fortunate enough to be elected, is uh, they elected me as uh, the president of their downtown business association. And I helped them uh, obtain their 501c3 not-for-profit status. And uh, what that did, it was great because it opened the door for grants and other, you know, incentives and uh, we were able to help businesses with their marketing plans. We were able to help businesses uh, refurbish their you know, storefronts and things. Because uh, I'm a firm believer that if a place can look good, you can uh, have an easier time in attracting business. And uh, so we, were, uh, we had, a, had a good time and a, an effective time working with the Downtown Business Association. And uh, I'm proud of the work that I did there, and I think it'll help me uh, here in Rittman as well. Very good. Now, what brought you to Ripman? How did you come to Ripman? Well, uh, we had some very good friends living here in Ripman, and uh, they, uh, you know, had extended an offer for us to come here. And uh, I knew the minute that we came here to check it out that this was the place. I mean, I, I just knew that this was a special place where, you know, we wanted to be, and uh, that has proven to be absolutely true. Ripman is a special place. Uh, sure, there are some things that we have to work on, like any place, uh, but I think that working together, we can even make it a better place. Yes, I agree. Uh, what does being a city council member mean to you? Well, uh, you know, I know some people run for city offices, uh, maybe for the pay or for the limelight or whatever. Um, you know, I, I'm, I've never been a big fan of those kinds of reasons for running. Uh, there's a great quote out there that says something to the effect of, there's no limit to what can be accomplished if we don't care who gets the credit. And I think that's so true. You know, uh, sometimes there's all this volleying that's going on back
back and forth about why I did this or I did that. I say, I like to roll up my sleeves, work with other talented people, other dedicated people, and uh, just do all that we can do to make wherever we're living the best it can possibly be for everyone. And in my mind, what that means is uh, attracting new businesses, new opportunities here to Rittman. Uh, I think that'll provide jobs for our people. You know, many people would like to work right here rather than having to travel, you know, to some other community. Uh, and also that means bringing down the tax burden. Um, you know, those businesses come in, they can share some of that, and it just makes living here for us residents uh, a little easier, make our money go farther uh, to do other things that we want to do.